Hello students, here we are going to learn about topology for broadcast networks. So first of all, what is a broadcast and select network? So initially passive star coupler, so initially know about that what is a coupler. So passive star coupler connecting the node in the network. So the broadcast and select network consists of passive star network for the all the network. Each node with tunable optical transmitter and receiver. So each node available in this network is equipped with one or more fixed tuned or tunable optical transmitter and one or more fixed tuned or tunable optical receiver with this net. So different not transmit messages on different wavelength simultaneously. And the receive the desired message by the tuning its receiver. So a node select a desired wavelength to receive the desired message by tuning its receiver to that particular wavelength in broadcast network. So here are the some of the advantages. So first simplicity and natural multicasting capability is available so the broadcast network and select network is their simplicity for natural multicasting capability means ability to transmit a message to a multiple destination so in this case they require a large number of wavelengths means the typically at least as many as they are not in the network so in the case of large wavelength because there is no wavelength reuse in the network Thus, the network are scalable beyond the number of supported wavelength. In the last high speed lens and mains. So, for the reason, main application for broadcast and select network is a high speed local area network and the metropolitan area network. So, start with the topology. So, first of all, what is the topology in this network? So, in this category, the multiple fiber cable are employed in optical network for the different communication purpose. Then they are connected through node, different node available in the optical network. But the way in which multiple nodes are connected together denotes the topology of the network or the physical topology of the network. So, anyone not considering the LAN network or the local area network will have one or more link to one or more other nodes. So consider the one terminal is connected with the many other terminal in this network. So and the mapping of this link and node into the geographical shape that determines the physical topology of the network. So these are the basics of topology for the broadcast and select network. So list of topology for broadcast and select network. So here are, there are four types is available. First star topology, bus topology, ring topology, mass topology. So let us discuss uh, one by one in some more detail. So first of all star topology. So in this case star topology, basically star topology Define that the node transmit on different wavelength and are connected to passive star via two way fiber. So consider one network is there like a star a star coupler. So I'm just connecting star coupler AC, and the many node is connected with this. So first node consider is a second node consider is third. So these all node are considered as stations or users. So stay S for station, U for user. And then link is connected with the star coupler is known as a trunk line or line. So it is known as a trunk line. So this is one kind of uh, combination or physical scenario of the star topology. So the signals are optically combined by the star coupler. So AC means star coupler and broadcasts on the receiver fiber to all the nodes. Means each node employs an optical tunable filter to select the wavelength address to. So this kind of network can still function if one node is down then passive star network can also support multicast because any number of node may tune to the same wavelength. The passive star WM network means the wavelength division multiplex network also there and it has some following advantages like that the 
switching element is a centralized but it uh, regulates the switching functions to the end node in this network it supports multicast over broadcast services and the passive star can be much uh, cheaper because it involves very little electronics component uh, or elements over here in the case of broadcast network using star topology so next bus topology so in the case of bus topology dual bus topology with the two unidirectional forwarded bus carrying information in the opposite directions so two way directions so normally bus topology is like that uh, consider uh, one optical coupler so these all are the optical coupler suppose round the round sign is optical coupler and this consider so on this link is known as a bus line trunk bus line trunk BLT means clear and this coupler with connecting one node or terminal so this is a users the square bracket is known as a stations for user and the round is known as optical coupler so that kind of link is connected so this is a basically scenario of the bus topology so in this bus topology uh, node transmit into the bus through a coupler and receive from the bus through to another coupler means the a will transmit to b so a will transmit through optical coupler and also b receive through the different optical coupler so although there are few cases in which the bus topology outperforms the star the star topology is better choice it can support a large number of users than a bus topology can this is because the power loss and the tapping loss in bus limit the number of users and that can be connected without the additional of optical amplifier so in the case of bus topology or in the bus topology with the recent development of the erbinium dubbed broadband amplifier edfa interested in the bus topology has been re-energized to create some physical structure in case of bus topology so next ring topology so the name is defined as the ring so one kind circular medium is there so i'm just uh, drawing one diagram this is optical coupler one another third one uh, fourth i think fifth and again one so one number two number three number four number and five so all are connected in the circular medium so the all the one to five is known as a optical coupler and the one node is connected with the square block so already know about the square block is known as a user or stations clear and the link between the every uh, couple optical coupler one two three four five is known as a optic fiber line optical fiber line so this is a, some physical scenario of the ring topology so in the ring topology one single node is joined to its neighboring node so one is connected to two two is connected to three and then up to five and five is again connected to the number one so the uh, single node is joined to its neighboring node thereby forming a closed part in the circular medium so the transmitted information in the form of light so the optical fiber line from light it sent from one node to another from one node to two two node to three also in the optical coupler are installed within the network in order to the couple the transmitted optical signal from one node to another node in this physical ring topology so next one mesh topology so mesh topology is means all the node are connected together in the same category of network suppose i am considering the five node one two outer five node and inside one single node so this single node one number node is directly connected to the each and every node means one link one link there one third fourth and fifth this node is directly connected with the each and every other node so one two three four and the, this node one two three and the last one so this is somewhat kind of mesh topology so in each and every node is connected to each and every node available in this network so in mesh topology arbitrary connection is formed between the node in the networks 
So maybe there are four nodes is there, there may be five nodes is there, or there may be 10 nodes is there. So this is a point to point connection can be changed according to the application, which means one node directly can say, send a signal to the particular node on the broadcast, it means all node is a broadcast. So this shows the flexible nature of the star topology as in case of failure of one node, the other node can be used for the signal transmission. So basically in a mesh connection, failure of any link or node is generated then firstly that particular failure is detected and then the signal traffic is diverted from the fail node to another link inside the particular connection of the mesh topology.